North Korea, officially the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, is a country in East Asia constituting the northern part of the Korean Peninsula. Pyongyang is the nation capital and largest city of the country. Kim Jong-un is supreme leader of the country. To the north and northwest, the country is bordered by China and by Russia. Before end of World War II, Korea which include current North and South Korea, was under Japanese rule. North Korea is considered as great threat to the peace and stability of the world due to its hostile relations with the United States of America. Why are the United States and North Korea enemies? Why does North Korea hate the United States? To get the answer of these questions, please stay till the end of this video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This story begins with the Japanese conquest of Korea, at the end of the 19th century. The Empire of Japan, formally annexed the Korean Peninsula in 1910. It had actually run the country through puppet emperors since its 1895 victory, in the First Sino-Japanese War. Thus, from 1910 until 1945, Korea was a Japanese colony. As World War II drew to a close in 1945, it became clear to the Allied powers that, they would have to take over administration of Japan's occupied territories, including Korea until elections could be organized and local governments set up. On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. Two days later, the Soviet Union declared war on Japan, and invaded Manchuria. Soviet amphibious troops also landed at three points, along the coast of northern Korea. On August 15, after the atomic bombing of Nagasaki, Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's surrender, ending World War II. Japanese forces in northern Korea surrendered to the Soviets, while those in southern Korea surrendered to the Americans. Although South Korean political parties quickly formed and put forward their own candidates, and plans for forming a government in Seoul, the U.S. military administration feared the leftist tendencies of many of the nominees. The trust administrators from the U.S. and the USSR were supposed to arrange for nationwide elections to reunify Korea in 1948, but neither side trusted the other. The U.S. wanted the entire peninsula to be democratic and capitalist, the Soviets wanted it all to be communist. In the end, the U.S. essentially appointed the anti-communist leader Syngman Rhee to rule South Korea. The South declared itself a nation in May of 1948. Rhee was formally installed as the first president in August, and immediately began waging a low level war against communists and other leftists south of the 38th parallel line. Meanwhile, in North Korea, the Soviets appointed Kim Il sung, who had served during the war as a major in the Soviet Red Army as the new leader of their occupation zone. He officially took office on September 9, 1948. Kim began to squash political opposition, particularly from capitalists, and also began to construct his cult of personality. By 1949, statues of Kim Il-sung were springing up all over North Korea, and he had dubbed himself the great leader. In 1950, Kim Il-sung decided to try to reunify Korea, under communist rule. He launched an invasion of South Korea, which turned into the three-year-long Korean War. America support South Korea in the war, and defeated the North Korean forces. In December 1950, the United States initiated economic sanctions against the North Korea, under the Trading with the Enemy Act, which lasted until 2008. The war killed more than 3 million Koreans, but the two countries ended up back where they started, divided along the 38th parallel line. And so, a rushed decision made by junior U.S. government officials in the heat and confusion of World War II's final days, has resulted in the seemingly permanent creation of two warring neighbors. Kim Il-sung, remained in office till 1994. He was succeeded by his son. Kim Jong-il.
Kim Jong-il remained in office till 2011, and then succeeded by his son, Kim Jong-un, the current supreme leader of North Korea. More than 60 years and millions of lives later, the accidental division of North and South Korea continues to haunt the world, and the 38th parallel remains arguably the tensest border on Earth. North Korea and United States relations are hostile and have developed primarily during the Korean War. In recent years relations have been largely defined by North Korea's five tests of nuclear weapons, its development of long-range missiles, capable of striking targets thousands of miles away, and its ongoing threats to strike the United States and South Korea, with nuclear weapons and conventional forces. During his presidency, George W. Bush referred to North Korea, as part of the axis of evil because of the threat of its nuclear capabilities. As the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and the United States of America have no formal diplomatic relations, Sweden acts as the protecting power of United States interests in North Korea for consular matters. Since the Korean War, the United States has maintained a strong military presence in South Korea. However, the United States has considered de jure South Korea as the sole legitimate representative of all of Korea. In 2015, according to Gallup's annual World Affairs Survey, only 9% of Americans have a favorable view of North Korea, while 87% of Americans have a negative view. According to a 2014 BBC World Service poll, only 4% of Americans view North Korea's influence positively with 90% expressing a negative view, one of the most negative perceptions of North Korea in the world.